tous. Salam alaikum. Dobry wieczór. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Ryan, and thank you, all the three people really here, for the outstanding experience that you have let us gain here. And thank you also, all the people here that are here in this room, for being a part of this technology atmosphere. Technology. I would like to tell you a short story. When I was a kid, I have been told that a human being needs air, food, and water to live. And I had to tell you that I believed in that. I was just a small kid. I shared a small room with my brother, two beds, one next to the other, just a small space in between. But on my left hand, just stood something that maybe at that time was a dream for most of the kids at that time. Late the 80s was a hi-fi stereo system. And that's what all what I knew about technology at that time. I didn't have any vision, anything. Next to my room was my parents' room. There was a PC, but I didn't have access that much to that PC. I was just a small kid. But I still had something inside me that says, Karim, that's something I think is going to be important later. So while I was growing up, I started to realize that my dream is to work in a company that provides new technologies, like that PC. Because at that time, this was new technology. When I grew up, actually, I figured out that this what I was taught is not enough. You cannot only live with water, air, and food. I mean, I have three smartphones, one tablet, laptop, and I can't live without them. I, can't just, I just can't imagine that life would be meaningful without them. Not taking in consideration my son, who is eight years old, who has a smartphone, a tablet, a camera, and gaming consoles, and it seems to me that he can't live without them either. And that brought to my attention that not only adults are serious clients these days, kids also are serious clients for technology. So at the end, I realized that technology is needed for living. So if technology is needed for living, who agrees with me, by the way? Yes or yes? Please raise your hand if technology is needed for living. Exactly. So as the world is changing, the world of technology is changing, every change comes together with a challenge. And the biggest achievement in my point of view is to transform this challenge to an opportunity. And based on that, I would like to introduce for you a company that I think has made this achievement, has transformed the challenges to opportunities, and opportunist in my point of view. So who's this company? So let us go back a little to the past, and particularly in the 90s. Do you remember how the PC cases, the old PC cases looked like? It was like sometimes vertical, horizontal, it depends how you liked it to be. Exactly. It was a beige colored PC case. Uh, I call it at that time the dirty white. Well, this company has chosen to be one of the first companies to introduce in Europe a color for PC cases with USB ports from the front and CD covers. After that, the company has introduced a lot of, a, a lot of innovative products, but I would need to keep you here for the whole night. 
But I will choose right now to move on with one of the most important products nowadays, which is on the top of the list in many countries at the moment. Tablets. Do you know that 200 million tablets were shipped from 2010 till the end of 2012 worldwide? If we would take that to the um, world population, it's 2.8% of the world population. But what do you think? How many tablets were shipped from the end of 2012 till the end of last year, 2013? Does anybody here in this room know? It's more than 250 million tablets. That's more than 100% increase and in growth in the sales of tablets. Tablet sales are booming these days. And nowadays, there are tablets and the price that everyone can own one. So as the variety is increasing and differing from slender to durable to convertible tablets, from Android to Windows tablets, this company again is choosing to be one of the unique companies in Europe by introducing quad-core tablet, which was introduced last year. Oh, and by the way, this tablet was introduced here at this tree last year. And the to be the first, from the first companies in Europe that has done a tablet controlled by Android and powered by Intel Atom. This is not it. It's a very elegant tablet. And the Windows tablet, which is also powered by Intel. And I have to tell you, I couldn't not to buy this tablet for myself. And that's the tablet that I own when I said that now I own three smartphones and tablets. That's the one. Because I couldn't stop myself to buy it. It's really good. So all the tablets in the offer are customized to match your needs, your style, and your budget at the same time. And that's what made the difference. So based on that, the company has owned a high percentage of the tablet's market share in 2013 to reach to be one of the companies that are on the top of the list in producing tablets. They has just started in 2012. And in 2013, they are with, on the top of the list. That's a revolution in my point of view. When we look back, and particularly when you talk about economy, the first thing that comes into my mind personally is the crisis. At that time, everybody was speaking about the crisis. No, we can't do this because of the crisis. No, we will not risk that because of the crisis. But inside this company, it was a little bit different. As you see on the slide, sales were growing year after year, till now. There was never that it's, the target was not achieved, even at the time of the crisis. And that gives us a hint that this company, why they estimate that in 2014, there will be a sales growth. So, this company was all, is also listed on the stock exchange. 
It's a public company, and we all here know what does it mean to be a public company. It's more, than resp uh, more responsibility than what is a position. Next to that, this company was appreciated and awarded by international professionalists. But that's what all in the past, rather than, Karim, come on, rather than speaking about the past, the past, so let us speak about the future. Just I want to ask, here in this room, are there Americans? People from the US, please raise your hands. By the way, I like so much Thomas Jefferson. For those who don't know Thomas Jefferson, he's the third president of the US and the founder of the University of Virginia, and he's a philosopher as well. He said something that I believe makes real sense in the world of technology today. He said, I like the dreams of the future better than the history of the past. So, what is making this company able to achieve the dreams of the future rather than always speaking about what they have done in the past? So, one thing in the beginning, communication. You have an excellent communication, you have cut the long distance short. Come on, if you just sit with yourself and remind yourself about some times ago that you have lost a deal because of a miscommunication, you don't do that. Or you say to yourself, you ask yourself if, if I would go back in time and if, if I would understand him or her better, maybe I would have made a deal. But that's too late now. How many companies are recruiting all around the world, people that speak in native languages just to serve all the countries, because the clients feel home while they're speaking in their home language. In all the countries. Quick service, whether it is business or technical, this company was never too late. In fact, they would like to be included in your challenges. You would like to solve your own challenges. Next to that, logistics and supply chain. Because of the strategic place at the heart of Europe, this company is having an easiness to deliver their products all around Europe at the right time without any troubles or difficulties. As the time passed, this company had a lot, of, a lot of clients from all the industries, IT distributors, resellers, retailers, OEM companies, and telecom operators. So huge companies has chosen this company to be their partner, a partner for success. So come on, huge organization would never risk their reputation. So there must be something, there must be a reason why they trust this company. So I have made this as simple as I can do. One word, just to summarize it for you. Base. B for best perfect cooperation, best business cooperation. A for adaptability. S for solution and safety, E, for extensive product range. So for business cooperation, you have uh, support from the financial point of view and from the marketing point, point of view, and you have an online B2B personalized system that makes you integrated, independent in your choice. You have also a support that many of the distributors lack at the time when they need it. 
and support in the decision making. Fast decision making support. This is really important. Adaptability, full customization, and flexibility. Which means design your own product, they will do it for you. They are not stick to what they have in the portfolio. They are stick to what you need. What do you need in your country? They will do it for you. <coughs> they want to grow and grow with you. Safety. Well, solution, you would be provided with this solution when you have a challenge. But you would be more happy if you are safe because of the multi-quality control that this company have. Do you know that each and every tablet and smartphone is checked once again in the headquarters in Europe after the checking in the factory, how many processes are going on and checking? Why they do that? Because they care about the clients, because they believe that less problems for the end user is Less problems for the clients are less problems for them also in the end. And that's how it works. An extensive product range. Well, let me tell you. I have a colleague in my company that once came and told me a story. He told me that he spoke with a distributor about the products and the possibility of cooperation. And then, after three days, this client came and said, hello, I need to sign with you. I'm convinced, 100%. My colleague asked him, don't you think it's fast? Just right like this, after three days, you're telling me, yes, I'm going to sign with you. He told him, yes, because I don't need to sign with anybody else. Because I would do my target with you in two or three products categories from what you have, with less troubles with less headaches, with less disorientation. So the extensive product range is allowing this company to meet different tastes, meet different needs, and minimize the risk of the change in tastes of the clients these days. You know, as technology is moving forward, the changes in taste are also moving with it. So I'm sure that you know about this company, and that I am proud to be a part of it. I hope that together we will share the same successful future. But I want to ask you, do you know a company that at the time of the crisis achieved and exceeded its target? Do you know a company that is transforming every challenge and opportunity, not just overcoming it, do you know a company where nothing is impossible? Please let me introduce you to this company. True. Life is short. You can live your life or you can just breathe. When overcoming obstacles becomes your passion. You face another challenge before you know it. Always upstream. And where there is no road, you just make one. Enemies? There is really only one. And it is yourself. After all, the only thing worth chasing 
is your own lazy shadow. And do not worry, for when the dust falls down, you will see that everything is left far behind. The mountains that seem so huge become nothing but a horizon line in the rear view mirror of your car. You're cold, you concentrate, you perspire, you're in pain, your pulse replaces your reasoning. You miss it all because you know how it feels to head towards the summit. You already know how a sip of water tastes after a battle. No one climbs the peak to admire the view. Those who reach the top know that the real essence here is facing the challenge. And in no time, they will be ready for new ones. Modacom. Aiming high.